In this video, we're going to be taking a look at saving data to the 3D Experience platform through 3D Experience SolidWorks. Additionally, you may be used to going File Save As, but that's not the scenario here. If you go to the File dropdown, you'll see Save, Save with Options, and Save to Local Cache. If you go ahead and click Save, you'll be prompted with a dialog box that wants you to enter a name, and you click Save, and this is the initial upload up to the 3D Experience servers, and now your data is stored on the cloud. You can also select save with options and you will be brought up a dialog box in which you'll have a couple of additional options which we'll go over here in a minute. Save to local cache will be grayed out until the initial save has been completed up to the platform. Once your data is stored on a platform, you can save changes locally to your computer without uploading them to your servers if you have any changes that you're not sure you want to make up to the servers yet. Now there's also the 3D experience add-in. If you go over to the add-in and you create a new part, you'll notice that this part has a symbol next to it with an orange save icon. That means the initial save up to the platform has not occurred yet. You can actually select this part and just select to save this part and it will bring up the save with options dialog box, the same dialog box you would see if you selected it from the file dropdown. Once you have completed the initial save up to the platform, you will see a green check mark instead of that orange save symbol. Now your data is stored on the platform and you can just continue to save normally and it will just update it on a platform. Something to note is that when you're working on SOLIDWORKS data and 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, you have to have that data reserved. You can use the reserve button in the 3D Experience add-in to reserve it. And once you're done working on it, you can just go ahead and unreserve. If you attempt to make changes to a file without reserving that file, and then you attempt to save those changes, you will receive a warning when in the save with options dialog box you will actually have the option to reserve that part directly from that dialog box. So you can go ahead and reserve it and select the unreserve with save to keep everything streamlined. If you're unsure what parts you have reserved and what parts you have unreserved, you can go over to the add-in and you will see a green key for the parts that you have reserved and an unlocked padlock symbol for the parts that are not currently reserved. There is also a bookmarks option in the save with options. So if you know anything about bookmarks, this is a way to organize your data on the 3D Experience platform, make it very accessible. You can automatically choose a bookmark to save your data to so that you don't have to go through your 3D space app and drag and drop that data into the 3D bookmark. Now it's done for you directly with the save option. When you choose to save to a bookmark, you can either choose to save all of the current files in an assembly to a bookmark, or you can choose a specific one and enter that into a bookmark as well. Just a quick reminder that when you save data to the 3D Experience platform, it's being saved as a default to whatever collaborative space you have chosen in the top right. So be sure to have the correct space you want your data to be saved to selected prior to saving. That's all you need to know to get started saving your data to the 3D Experience platform through 3D Experience SolidWorks. Be sure to watch the rest of our videos for help getting set up in 3D Experience.